Anyway, people are always talking about Jezebel, and most people don't even know where the story of Jezebel is found. And they don't realize that anytime you have Jezebel, you have Ahab. Jezebel wouldn't be able to be who she was if there was no King Ahab. King Ahab was the person who even allowed her to even be in the position that she was in. I'm not talking to you, Jay. Um, I'm not talking to you, Dr. J. Uh, McCray. Um, so, anyway, you cannot have Jezebel if you do not have Ahab. Let me say that first. Let me say it one more time. You cannot have Jezebel if you don't have Ahab, okay? Ahab was the king. Jezebel was the queen. Jezebel was not the queen of Israel. She was the, because she just became queen. She was the queen because of Ahab, okay? Now, what happened was, um, 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 you know that they were ruling because they don't know anyone else in the Bible. And so, and so the thing is, Jezebel and Ahab was, a, I call them like demonic duo. And so, you know that Jezebel, um, father was into idol worship into all these idols and so when Ahab married her he didn't take heed to the voice of the Lord I believe that the prophet then was Jehoshaphat um no Jehoshaphat was a king who was the king that was prophesying during Elijah I'm sorry I should I know this story back and forth but Elijah okay he was the person who was prophesying um during that time so you gotta know in in, in scripture you gotta know who the king was, who the priest was, and who the prophet was. There's always that trio. There's always going to be a king, there's going to be a priest, and there's going to be a prophet, okay? That's just how it goes. Before there were kings and, and all that or whatever, there were always prophets um, and seers, but there's always going to be that. The king, the priest, the prophet, okay? So just remember that. And then they have scribes as well. So during this time, Elijah was um, prophesying, okay? He was the prophet at that time. Ahab didn't take heed. He did not take heed to what um, what Elijah was saying. So what happened was he listened to the voice of his wife. But here's the problem with that. His wife did not serve the true God. His wife brought in all types of idols. She brought in so many different things, just all type of wickedness. And if you look in scripture, when you read it, it'll say like Ahab did evil in the sight of the Lord. He, he, he goes down as one of the most wicked, the most wicked kings of um, Israel. We know that the kingdom... The kingdom of Israel or the children of Israel became um, the kingdoms of Israel, the kingdom of Israel. And then we had uh, uh, three kings, King Saul, King David, King Solomon. And then after King Solomon, there was a split. So then you had the king kingdom of Israel and the kingdom of Judah. They both derived from the children of Israel, but there was contamination and from jump. And so because they had the wrong king from jump, which was Saul, because that was the people's choice, not God's choice. And so what happened was. Um, they end up getting, uh, that ended, ended up splitting. Okay. And, um, there was so many different things that happened, but I just wanted to give you, um, I just wanted to give you guys just an overview of that. So Jezebel and Ahab was a demonic duo. Jezebel could not be who she was without Ahab because Ahab was the king at that time. So most people are always yelling, Jezebel, Jezebel, Jezebel. Everything that happens that goes on that's an attack is not Jezebel. You have the spirit of Absalom. You have, and the reason why I call it the spirit is because this is how these things function, okay? You, people say spirit of Jezebel because there is a, the, the idols um, that Jezebel served. A lot of people are still serving those idols and then they operate in the same manner. So it's, 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 it's the way that people function. That's why you say in the spirit of this person, just like uh, the Bible talks about a person will come in the spirit of Elijah. It, it just means that they're going to do what that person did and they're going to function in that way. So when people say the spirit of Jezebel, that's what they're talking about. But again, don't forget, you cannot have Jezebel without Ahab. You cannot, you cannot, you cannot. Ahab is the one who actually has the, con the control in, the, in that particular situation because that is the one who was actually given the authority. So understand when anybody says Je Jezebel and Ahab or Jezebel, know that Ahab is somewhere. You cannot, and Sister Hoax, um, Sister Johnito, Evangelist Johnita Hoax taught me that, okay? You cannot have Jezebel without Ahab, okay? They operate together. Most spirits do, okay? And when people say Jezebel, they're talking about the spirit and how people operate. They're not talking about, you know, dead Jezebel done came back alive. Because we know that in scripture, it shows that Jezebel was killed. She was taken down by Jehu. Okay. And her, her blood was lip, licked up uh, by the dogs. That was fulfilling prophecy. That's how God felt about her. He allowed her to be killed that way. So understand that Jezebel was killed in the Old Testament. However, when people come in the same manner like she did and like her husband, King Ahab, that is what they mean. Everything that happens in church is not the spirit of Jezebel and Ahab. There is what the Bible calls the spirit of cockatrice. There's another one that's wormwood. There are 16 
um, uh, uh, strong men that are listed. If you go through the Bible and you and you um, go to Blue Letter Bible, actually, and you type in the word spirit of or just type in spirit, it will give you every instance where it says spirit. You can look up unclean spirit. You can put spirit of this and it will tell you all of that. It's very important that you know that because here's the thing. If you don't know how to um, scripturally um, uh, uh, like search or search the scriptures and find out what these things mean or what it actually says, you will be like, what are people talking about saying Jezebel? What does this mean? You need to know that. You need to know the story of Jezebel and Ahab so you can see how they operated and functioned because that's what people mean. Um, another thing is there were other demonic duos. You have Janice and Jambres. The only reason why I know about Janice and Jambres is because the church that I used to go to um, really shed light on this particular scripture. And then when I went to another place where the Lord was revealing how people were to me, he told me these are these are those that operate like Janice and Jambres. And so I did a whole study on Janice and Jambres. Janice and Jambres were like the sorcerers and the magicians that were operating during the time of Moses. And they withstood Moses because they hated the leadership excuse me they hated the leadership they had the, they hated the set authority the set authority during the time of Moses was Moses and the elders that he chose but excuse me they did not want his authority and so they were able to do a bunch of miracles and a bunch of all this stuff even before Moses took the people took the children of Israel out of Egypt um he was still the set authority but Janice and Jambres didn't like it and so you know the, the sorcerers, the magicians, and all of that, they did a lot of these other false signs and wonders um, to uh, basically try to act like um, Moses was not of God. But anyway, there's that. Then you have the spirit of Absalom. You have so many different things. You have Delilah. You got so much. You got so, so, so much. And that is that the uh, you got, you're dealing with not only the demonic, but also the, the godly realm. So in the spirit realm, you have the spirit that um, that are from heaven. Um, that are still in that are still in the heaven where our, our father God is and then you have those who are in the second heaven and kind of rule there right um, and then you have the satanic kingdom you have the kingdom of, of darkness and they have their spirits and all of that so here's the thing the kingdom of darkness was always present and prevalent um, all throughout the scriptures and you can see this by the constant struggle and the constant fight between the people of God and the people of the you know the enemy and how the enemy was infiltrating the people of God but there's so many other things everything that happens in your church is not always Jezebel and Ahab there's something called the cockatrice spirit I want you guys to look that up c-o-c-k uh, A-T-R-I-C-E. Kimberly Daniels did a very, very good um, uh, uh, excerpt on that. She wrote something about that. These are those things that um, that attack your church. I don't even know why I'm saying this because I don't even mean to come on here and say all of this, but I want you guys to know that there are spirits that are assigned to each church, to each house, to each person, to each family to try to take you down. So it will behoove you guys to be aware of what those things are, because if you're not aware, then you'll be um, it'll be much easier for the enemy to take you down and take you out. And you won't even realize what it is because you're kind of telling yourself, oh, the devil can't do this. The devil can't do that. He can do a whole lot because of the ignorance of the people of God. And um, you want to make sure that you know what these spirits are that are attacking your church or that rain, you know, remain prevalent. Sometimes these spirits are in the foundation of a lot of churches because the, uh, a lot of churches and local bodies um, were not birthed out of a place of prayer. And it's not God breathed. It was just kind of like people were doing it. People were starting out churches in retaliation to other ministries. Um, people do a lot of things for a lot of reasons. And your motivation um, will show, will, will really um, be illuminated. Um, the bigger you grow or more you be, or more prevalent you become, you will be able to see where that darkness or that contamination is. You will be able to see what the foundation of people really is. Um, and so, you know, you got to make sure that you know what these spirits are that are assigned, like I said, to you as an individual, um, because the enemy has to send an assassin. Um, no, I flew, Demir. The enemy has to send an assassin because you have an anointing, right? Um, and so every time there's an assignment, from God, there is an anointing that he gives you and there is an assassin, okay? So every time God gives you an anointing, uh, um, assignment, excuse me, there is an assassin and there is an anointing. The enemy sends out the assassin, right? To try to kill what that assignment is, to try to kill what the fruit of that will be. So you got to make sure that you know, but everything is not Jezebel. Everything ain't Jezebel. And where there's Jezebel, there's Ahab. So you have to know the difference and you have to be um, um, really knowledgeable of the scriptures, especially the Old Testament scriptures, because you will see the mistakes that people made and you will see how the enemy has been operating all throughout the Old Testament. So you have to know that it's not about just being able to go and point something out in the life of somebody else, but you better know when the enemy is the using you and what he tries to use to attack your family. Because it's not about, it's not just about what's attacking, you know, everybody else's church and you don't even go there because people are like, oh, this church do this, this church do that. A lot of you people are not even sent to the, uh, are not even fivefold ministries.
fivefold ministry gifts, meaning you're not called to um, really correct and do all of that stuff. Um, and so you got to make sure that, excuse me, you've been called, chosen, and affirmed by God, and then affirmed by the people of God so that you have an understanding. But again, everything is not Jezebel. Everything is not Jezebel. Um, Jezebel and Ahab is just one demonic duo, but there's other demonic duos, okay? So I just wanted to share that. Make sure that you're knowledgeable of these things. Know that the enemy um, has assigned spirits to every individual. So every individual, every family, um, every local body. Um, every time there's assignment, the enemy um, is sending people out. So um, just know that. And um, I hope that you guys learned something and that you guys know that everything ain't Jezebel, but ask the Lord what it is. Sometimes it's, like I said, the spirit of Absalom. The spirit of Absalom is one of a, of retaliation, trying to take matters into your own hands. That's the way that Absalom um, operated. It ain't the way we're supposed to operate. You got Janice and Jambres. They hate the set authority that God has put in place. And they try to work false signs and wonders to try to truly keep people from being uh, delivered. Um, and get to the place where God wants them to be because um, Janice and John Briss worked a lot of false signs and wonders to try to keep the children of Israel in bondage in Egypt. Okay, so just study that out. All right, bye.